The Jesus Lizard was one of the loudest, wildest bands ever. Period. Full stop. You lit yourself on fire? One time. You got arrested? A couple times. They've been called the best live band of all time. They were also reputed to be Nirvana's favorite band. But after pounding and self-mutilating and exposing themselves through much of the 90s, they broke up. It was brutal for all of us. Now, roughly a decade later, they're back at it. We hugged for like three minutes and giggled like children. It was so, so cool. All right, we've got this new thing we're doing here in Amplified. When we meet a band that has a great backstory, we give them the sort of behind the music treatment. We did it a few weeks ago with the Meat Puppets. This week, it's the Jesus Lizard. There are four guys in the band. We sat down to talk to two of them. Their story toggles between menacing, manic, and believe it or not, moving. But the name came from where? I, there's a lizard in Central America called a basilisk that runs across water, and its nickname is the Jesus Christ Lizard of Central America, and we took out the Jesus, the, the Christ part and the Central America part. I was flabbergasted by the way he played drums, and we sat at the bar after the show and made friends and suggested, like, hey, if we can ever do music together, we should do music together, but that'll probably never happen. You lit yourself on fire? One time. You got arrested? Uh, a couple times. You jumped off the stage in Switzerland and nobody caught you? And you were knocked unconscious? That happened. I watched a video just now of you in 1994 get hit in the head with a bottle. The bottle breaks, you go down, and then I timed it within three minutes, fewer than three minutes, the song had started again and you were singing again. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I was faking it. it. That was actually a gag. We, uh, I, I had a string attached to it, like attached to here. And I just pulled a cord, and it made it look like this bottle came and hit me. And then... Does anybody ever say to you, "What is the matter with you?" My girlfriend says that three times a day. They're like, "What? <laughs> WTF? No." You played with this guy for, for all that time. What's he, what do you think was going on with the, the lighting himself on fire, et cetera? I don't know. I, I just, I try to not creep too close, you know? She seems to think she seems to weak. Kurt came walking up and he said, hey, is it cool if we play before you guys? And we were all like, ha, 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 ha. And he said, well, I've seen you, and I'd really rather play before you guys. And I'm going, no, that's not going to happen. Um, but, you know, he told me that he was a fan. It's nice when soon-to-be-dead people think you're cool. Why did you leave the band? Uh, it was getting too hard to balance uh, family life and band life, and it didn't seem as if uh, <clears throat> compromises could be made. Was that pretty brutal for you? Uh, yeah, it was, because I didn't want to stop the band. I didn't for all of us. Yeah. I read that after he left, you said that the band became sort of a job. Completely. Did you stay in touch, the two of you, after after Mac left? No, not so much. I, I pretty much had to go work out a lot of my own 
things. When we got back together for this reunion uh, set of dates, it was great because it felt like no time had passed, like none. I mean, we, we picked up right where we left off. And it's funny because Mac and I are pretty tight. I mean, I love him with every fiber of my body. And it was funny, we talked on the phone and emailed before we saw each other again. And then we went to Nashville to practice where Dwayne lives. And uh, we had discussed, like, you know, when we see each other, we're going to cry like babies. But we didn't. We hugged for like three minutes and giggled like children. It was so, <laughs> so cool. It was so great. I'm always, always nervous before we play. Nervous? And then, <clears throat> After all this time? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of nervous right now, but being as hell, you're not that tall, it's so cool. <laughs> um, now you've got the, the reunion tour and then all the remastered albums coming out. Where do you go from here? Do, do you make another album? Do you keep touring? I think we'll finish touring in Chicago in the end of October, November, sorry. And I, I think that'll be the end of it. So this is a pretty cool endeavor you're on right now. Though. It's great. It's great. We're, we're back in contact for, from here on out. Yeah. What, no matter what happens yeah, we'll with the stupid band, we'll be pals. How did you, how did you, I'm now going to ignore the emissions. This tour will support.